everyone, this is the Bidang 775. I'm back with another video. You folks are wondering where is my LG V30 review video? Well, I'm still working on it, and this video is being totally shot purely on the LG V30. I'm shooting it in 4K. Um, I'm not gonna touch the audio or anything. I'm just gonna upload this straight to my um, Cyberlink Power Director and just, you know. Um, produce it, you know, add my, you know, intro and subtitles and whatnot. I'm not going to touch the video at all whatsoever. And it's going straight up to YouTube so you can see the footage of the LG V30. I'm still working on the review, by the way. But since I'm doing a re I want to do an unboxing. Um, I picked up the, the T-Will Retro Rock speaker, okay? This resembles my favorite speaker of all time, my Marshall my Marshall, I don't know her name. I forgot. You know, I I don't know her name. I just use her a lot. She's my first expensive Marshall speaker that I bought. And it was the Bluetooth white one. It looks very similar to this, but it's white. I bought her a few years ago and she was freaking expensive when, it, when I first bought it. I think she was like $379. Yeah, it was ridiculously expensive. My most expensive but most satisfying Bluetooth purchase to date. Hopefully, this Tiwo Retro Rock speaker can bring me back to the old days. And the thing about this speaker is you have to plug it in. Okay, that might be a con to some, but this is a home speaker through and through. And I've noticed that plugged in speakers generally sound louder than those of like, um, you know, Bluetooth speakers like this. But let me go ahead and get this open, shall we? Knife away. I'm gonna put it right here. And that's the inside of the box. Gives you like a little happy face thing here. What is this? Oh, it's got your wire here. 3.5 millimeter jack, so I can connect my LG V30. Imagine if I collect, connect my LG V30 to this thing. How good will that sound? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me go ahead. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to get it. There we go. Oh wait, I can't toss this box like I normally do. I forgot I got a little cat in there. All right. Can toss this around. This has the plug in it. <laughs> Oops! I did not see the plug. I thought the plug was built in. Okay, it comes. This is the plug. You have to plug the speaker in, and it's upside down. Good job. Wow, that's a nice looking speaker. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the quality of the speaker. Look at that. Now, I bought the speaker on sale. It was $59.99. I think regular price is $89.99. But the feel and the build quality of the speaker is, it feels like an old school guitar amp. That's what it feels like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pair to do a little jump cut right here. Whoop. All right, folks, I'm back. And I got it paired up to my NVIDIA Shield tablet and don't mind the pitter patter of little feet. That's my little rescue cat that I rescued a while ago and she's not so little anymore. She's a pain in the butt, gets into everything. Forgot how little kittens are. But so I went ahead and got it paired up. Let me go ahead and erase all of this maps. Okay, I got some songs from my playlist. Okay, let's play something. Let's play my usual, what I always, always play.
it sounds really good. Let me go ahead and play with the settings. Um, I'm going to use, where is it? Where's my settings? Preferences. No, oh, not preferences. Let me see if I can change the sound up because, oh, there you go, sound effects. Let's go to the equalizer. Let's, let's hit the play button, that way I can... Okay, so I brought it up to full volume right there, right at the end. It did not distort. Now, to be fair, I, I, I'm going to put the speaker to the ringer. I'm going to let it, I'm going to play it um, at low volume two, about a couple hours a day, two to three days to break it in. And, but as of right now, if you can get the speaker for $59.99 and you wanted a speaker for your living room, your kitchen, your desktop, um, wherever, your bedroom, this is a great little speaker. It's pretty loud and it did not sound, you know, it sounded pretty much for the most part balanced. The mids and highs were sharp. It sounded a little flat at first. That's why I went ahead and used my equalizer, use the sound effects on my, my Jet Audio app. You see that? I, I put it all to flat there. Um, First, I, I messed it with the bass boost and bass booster 2. See how my, my thing has all these sound profiles you can choose from. Vocal reducer, rock 2, pop 2, dance, treble booster and whatnot. I'm going to be playing with this um, speaker a lot. I'm going to just plug this into my bedroom, in my bedroom and just listen to music all night. Now, I'm probably going to get slapped by my wife, but that's okay. This is for you folks, okay? And I want to make you folks... Um, make the best decisions and as of right now just by my first impressions this speaker if you want a really good speaker for your living room again bedroom wherever this is a good speaker I totally recommend this but look for the full review in a few days and remember the this whole entire video was shot on the LG V30 in 4k check back for the review video in a few days but yeah, it's Gdang775. I want to thank you folks for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button down below and let me know in the comments. I do appreciate the criticism. It's Gdang775. Thanks for watching. Ow.